You can convert fluid boxes to static fluid boxes if you wish to place overlay objects inside a fluid box. This property will allow you to place objects on top of each other or partially overlaid on each other instead of placing them side by side. Let's take a look at the steps to do that. For that, let's go to slide 16. And here we have this person sitting at the desk. We want to add some pain points to his wrist, to the elbows and to the back. To do that, let's go to the library and select pain.png. And here I'll drag and drop it on this fluid box. Notice that the pain point takes its individual position and you are not able to overlay that object on top of that image. That is because currently the fluid box is not static. So let's make it static and then we can place the pain point exactly at the position that we want it to. So let's undo this change and then I'll select this fluid box in which we have placed this image. After that, let's go to the properties inspector. Under the fluid box name, we have the static option. Check this box to convert it to a static fluid box. Now, go back to the library and select the pain.png image again. This time, when you place it on the slide and try to position it at that exact position, you will be able to do it correctly. Let me reduce the size a bit and position it at the back and then make a copy of it and place it at the elbow and then one more at the wrist. Now, when I move the slider, notice that wherever this image is going, those pain points also follow him. You will also need to use this option if you are creating a timeline animation. For that, let's go to slide 17 and here I will select the content fluid box. Then go to the library and select the first animation image and drop it to this fluid box. Then if I bring in another animation image, you will notice that it will make some space for it and allow it to be positioned either vertically or horizontally based on the flow that is decided. If I change it to horizontal, you can see that these images are sitting side by side. That's not what I want to do here. So I'll delete these images from here and then select this content area and mark it as static. Now I'll go back to the library and bring in all five images and place them inside this fluid box. Then let's align them to center horizontally and vertically. Now open the timeline and let's convert it to a timeline animation. I'll increase the slide duration and then reduce the duration of these images to 2 seconds and then stagger the appearance. Close the timeline and then click preview play slide. Notice that now the images are appearing one at a time and when I go to the smaller device sizes you can still see these images and they will be appearing at the center of the slide.